Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my first Bleach reaction in a while. Uh, as you guys might know, I reacted to the Lost, before this arc there was a different Lost arc, right? And I never watched that, even though I watched the first 100 or 200 episodes of Bleach like three or four times because I didn't have any others, right? This was back in the day where I didn't know anime sites existed. There was just this channel on the, on like DSTV called Animax or something. Animax or something. And there was like random episodes of Eureka 7, Black Lagoon, I think, um, Paranoia Agent. So I watched like all these, oh, and uh, Dot Hack. There's all these random episodes. It was really cool though. And that's the only way that I could watch any anime. But like I said, it was like random here and there. I didn't even follow a storyline. Um, but anyway, back then, the only way I was really watching anime in order was if someone like gave me a, a burned CD with episodes on it and stuff. And anyway, my friend, who's actually haven't seen in 10 years, he's coming to visit on Thursday. Uh, he had like the first 100 to 200 episodes of Bleach on a CD and I watched that a couple of times. Uh, and that's how I got into Bleach. And um, yeah. After that, finally, eventually, I watched the rest up until right before the previous Lost Ark, right? Um, and then I finished that in a live. So some of those reactions are on Patreon. But now, Bleach is back after God knows how long. I actually don't know how long it was, was gone for. Um, but it's obviously very exciting. Um, and I kind of want to close my door because I don't want to like be nervous because I, I feel like I'm going to freak out, but I don't want to like overhype myself and then I get there. So I did, I did manage to get Disney Plus. I'm really happy about that. I've never watched on it, so I don't know how good their servers are. Crunchyroll servers suck, so there's always buffering. I hope that won't be the case today. Um, and I actually saw that... There's a, quite a few stuff on Disney Plus that I'd want to watch, like Futurama and The Simpsons. Um, Modern Family is on there, which I always love to rewatch that. You know, a lot of old school movies, like not old school, but like Disney movies that I that are were still good back then. <laughs> and um, like Moana, Frozen. I really like those movies. And also Yuki hasn't seen a ton of Disney movies, so I want to watch some of them with her. Um, so yeah, I did, I was able to get that, so supporting the show, I hope, in some small way. Um, let's go. In the live chat, we have Sotos, until he has to uh, close the shop. Fairy is here, Modru is here, Karolash is here. The last episode of Bleached aired in 2012, 10 years ago. The manga ended in 2016. Okay, Odinoko is here, Elizabeth, Rick. Mm. Um, Dark Shadow hasn't caught up yet. He has like 90 episodes to go, but he is on holiday, so he should catch up soon. Vasilis is here, Hunter is here, Ruff's Revenge. I'm, I have to fade the screen quite a lot and put it very soft uh, for copyright reasons. Apparently the copyright's pretty strict. Someone else's video got taken down already. Um, and, and Mike, shout out to Name Swirls. Mike will be editing these reactions for YouTube. So, um, let's hope that we won't have too much copyright issues. Also, I'm just trying, trying to fix my hair. Okay, enough procrastinating. Let's go. This is probably the show that I'm most fangirly about. Like, I think One Piece is fantastic. I think Attack on Titan is fantastic. Okay, maybe besides Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket, like, Fruits Basket I'm also very fangirly about. But I think after Fruits Basket, it's this. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right, guys. <sighs> Let's hope it works. Imagine it says, sorry, can't play this in your region. I would lose my shit.
<laughs> His voice is he is it is he Zenitsu? Ah, oh, the visuals are already. I'm, I recognize this voice, but I'm not sure. Deku? It's Deku. Wow, the visuals look so good. After 10 years, yeah, they, de they, they deserve a... Not that the visuals from 10 years ago were bad. The visuals from 10 years ago were better than some of the newer shows visuals coming out today, so. It's the owl! <laughs> I'm checking. Holy crap. <gasps> oh, of fucking course. Ah, yeah, that's Deku. Wait, 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 wait. This is gonna be the perfect introduction. That's just the perfect place for Ichigo to wait. <gasps> Sado! Inoe? Ino, Ino, Ino. I, I only know her as the Kurosaki san girl. This is in the trailer, right? She's a good girl. A la muerte. Wow. Wow. Wow, what an intro! Oh, look how good that all look! Oh. What about the girl? Did she survive?
Tell you to get off his bed, you motherfucker. I love how calm they are. They're just like. Changed his style, looks so pretty. Yumi Chika Ayasegawa. There are too many names to learn always. Ikaku. It's so interesting to watch, and it happens a lot with these kind of like old shows that I watched more than three years ago, and then because in those three years, I've watched a ton of shows. So the voice actors who I didn't know back then, I recognize now. So like, I'm like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? You know? Ikaku rocking that same old Saitama hairstyle as usual. Oh, fuck. No, because he's not afraid, I guess. <laughs> so cool! Not cool. Wanden Reich. Wanden. Whoa, a nice transition. Oh no, 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 oh no. What, 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 what? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, what the fuck? I'm trying to understand, but I don't understand because I only know three of them maybe means peace. But the visuals are insane! It's like movie level visuals. Because he lost.
So peaceful. Such a peaceful resolution, isn't it? Although I do, I have heard people talk, um, I have heard people say like, oh, what the world needs is a benevolent dictator. And by that, they probably mean someone like this who hates conflict and will only kill those who go like against peace. As if that exists or can exist for longer than one generation, maybe. Maybe, like it, by some fucking godsend. I don't even think it's possible, one generation. But like that, this is the kind of person that I imagine just from his introduction, like, oh, he cares about peace and he, he, he won't hurt anyone unless, you know, they go against peace. But that shit doesn't exist. Like, I mean, a benevolent dictator. I don't know. But yes, uh, I've heard people talk about that in the past. And, and this character, the, their introduction immediately makes you think of those people and what they want. Like in their mind, it's someone like this that is all about peace uh, and wants to like just dispel evil so they only hurt the right people. And they do, but when I like talk to those people, I don't talk to them actually. I just read what they say and scoff. Impossible. He said, you can tell they cared about this. And that's what I feel like today in the West, that's what's missing from like media and stuff for me is that they don't care. If they, they rehash old shit that they don't care about to make money off of existing characters and existing fandoms, and then they don't give a fuck. And that's why Western media today sucks uh, based on, you know, the stuff that I've seen i'm sure there's some good stuff out there but i haven't seen it um but yeah they don't care all they care about is making money which fine everyone needs to make money i get it but come on make money doing something you love like don't just oh i can capitalize on this and then you ruin it but i mean that's something you can you can feel in in most animes that the people who create it love it and respect it. They love and respect what they do. And uh, it really shines through. Wow, so good. I've only felt this nostalgic once. And it was with Digimon Adventure Try. Haven't seen that. Actually, I didn't watch a lot of Digimon. Um, because at first I didn't like it. Because I thought like, no, it's just a copy of Pokemon. <laughs> I was really young. And... Uh, but I did eventually get into it, but I didn't get into a lot of it. Like, once again, I didn't know where to watch it. But that was a perfect 10 from start to finish. Um, I'm not going to be... I'm not even going to try and be unbiased when it comes to Bleach. It's almost impossible anyway to, to ever be unbiased. When, you know, reviewing shows and stuff. But I at least try and look at it from a more outside perspective and... But this is a perfect 10 for me, start to finish. There's nothing that I can criticize. Nothing. Nothing. It's perfect. The sad thing is they don't really make money because they alienate their fan base and no one watch the new stuff because they change to please a small portion of the population. Yeah, I've noticed. But I wouldn't know if they make money or not because they keep doing it. So they, sh they have to be making money somehow. <laughs> Time to move Bleach up on up one spot on your favorites list. I can't. I have to. I have to wait. On Mal, it's ranked. It's ranked uh, at number one. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Screen unfilter. I don't know. These episodes are gonna be purely unless you know there's stuff in the story that I want to discuss, which obviously. I would. The main VA who I know died and is replaced here as the old man head captain Yamamoto, but his new VA is doing a great job. I did not notice the cap the head captain. Uh, only Ikaku's VA sounded different to me. So, I'd, but I don't know if that's because I'm remembering wrong or what. Oh, where's my Annie list? I 
I don't know. This is going to be purely a reaction unless the story gets to a point where I want to discuss it. But this first episode was pure hype. <laughs> It was reintroducing the characters in a, in a way that doesn't feel like it takes too long. Introducing the story uh, almost... Uh, I mean, the pacing was fast, but not too fast. But it was like... You kind of miss the parts of Bleach. When you watch that first episode, you kind of miss the parts of Bleach where it was a little bit slower. But I mean, this is, this is the final arc. There's no time to take it slow. Even though I would love that, but... Yeah, this, is, this isn't a new season. This isn't just a new arc. This is the last arc. So I think it's going to be a lot of... Um, I, would bet, I would bet a lot that he has the same VA. Now I don't feel sure about Ikaku being the same because I would say that Gigi has the same VA. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe people in the comment section can talk about that if you guys have more confirmation on which VAs uh, were replaced for for whatever reason because i mean 10 years is a long time the last arc is confirmed to be 52 episodes i think i remember someone saying that when i posted my trailer reaction um are they gonna air it in continuity for 52 weeks or are there gonna be breaks have we heard anything about that i'm gonna be that person right now and i'm gonna give the score a 10 I will lower it. I will lower it at a later point. Uh, if it really sucks <laughs> or some shit. But uh, the introduction was a 10 and I'm probably going to think everything's a 10. I am biased. I don't care. I'm going to... <gasps> I'm joking, Tiago. I don't care. Um, yeah. It's going to be perfect. Let's see here. Characters. Let's you go. Uh, will you... Where is Ikaku here? Ikaku. Uh, his VA is the same, it seems. Just my memory. That is bad. Which, uh, let's be real. Let's be honest. It's, it's always proven to be such. Uh, where is the old man? Captain. Yamamoto, you said? What's his name? Yamamoto. Here we go. Um, yes, he has changed from Masaka Tsukada, who passed away in 2014. I hope that he has been resting in peace. I did not know about his passing. And he's been replaced with Binbin Takaoka. Uh, he is a 59 and he has also voiced hmm, uh, someone from Jobless Reincarnation, Certain Scientific Railgun, Saga of Tanya the Evil, Ooh, Izumida from uh, Sangatsu no Lion. Hmm. Let's see, anyone else I know? I don't recognize anyone, but he's also been in Jewel Pit, Ristorante Paradiso. Taisho Baseball Girls, Super Robot Wars OG, High School of the Dead. Oh my god, was he a zombie in High School of the Dead? <laughs> Lupin the Third, The Woman Called Fujiko Mine, Fritz Kaiser. Dogura from Queensblade Rebellion. Oh, I'm gonna watch that soon. It's the last season, I think. Okay, but no. Um, it was a perfect 10 from start to finish. I will be rewatching the episode on my own, uh, especially the first. In the beginning, I was I was having difficulty paying attention to the subtitles because I was so enamored with the visuals. Um, but yeah, this makes me want to rewatch the whole show. It makes me want to buy all the manga. Um, but I guess I have to finish collecting One Piece manga first, then I can start with Bleach, then I can start with Naruto. At the moment. Uh, Bleach is in my, see it's, my top three is kind of tied, those two are tied, so it's like one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. So technically, Bleach is in my top ten. <laughs> but uh, if if I'm not allowed to do that, it would be eleventh. But I'm sure it will go up. Because, you know, recency bias and all those kinds of things, it takes a toll, you know. Um, but yeah, it's probably going to move up for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Where is, uh, yeah, Ichigo is at number four on my best boys list. It's Luffy and then Tamaki and then Gintoki and then Ichigo, but, and then Zoro and then... Tanjiro, Natsu, Roshinante, Bakugo, Kuranosuke, Kyo, Mob, and then my girls list. I have 12 boys and 12 girls, I think. Okay. The poem at the end is very cool too. It's the same as the first manga volume of the arc. I always like these poems Kuba put at the start of volumes. See? See? Definitely need to buy the manga. I need to rewatch the whole show. And... Uh, I'm going to rewatch this episode. I'll, I might wait for like two episodes to come out and then I can watch two in one go. But I don't know if I can, I can wait that, that long. So I'm going to end the video and the stream here. Then I'm going to upload it for my patrons. Then I'm going to be back and we're going to be reading some One Piece manga. Um, thank you guys for watching my reaction with me. It was amazing. The show was amazing, I mean. Uh, great introduction to the final arc. I have not read the manga, just in case anyone was wondering. Like, I haven't read the, the last arc, so I don't really know much of what to expect besides, you know, what the trailer has revealed to us. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the characters again, and the music, because that's just always fire. And... Uh, I believe it's the same VA and the sword feudal Japan stuff makes sense for visual style. What's that about? First watching Gintama because Gintoki reminded me of Ichigo somehow. Well, yeah, I can see that. I like how uh, Gintama often parodies shows like Bleach and One Piece and JoJo's. It's very funny. Okay, so thank you guys. And I'll see you, for those of you that are here live, I will see you soon. And for those of you that are on YouTube, I hope the video doesn't get blocked so that it can stay up. <laughs>